37. The time is called. Looks like a member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. But hopefully, obviously, nothing ready, serious ready. here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Right through. To throw on second down is Young. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. It's Jeffrey Simmons that time who got in to record the sack. Now that's a heck of a moment for your first sack of the Damn. game because if this long drive ends without a touchdown because of that sack, we're going to look back and say that might be one of the biggest plays of this contest. Ready, ready. Young on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down to the two before he's wrestled out. Now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Hey, three. Uh. On the give, it's Warren. And he's in. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Jalen Warren with his fourth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Steelers will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. A good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. And they come off a victory over the weekend, but now the quick turnaround here for this Thursday night game. How does that affect how teams like this approach these short turnarounds? Well, wins and losses always factor into, you know, how you're getting ready for the next game. But equally as important when you have the short turnaround, what is your injury situation? Are you losing key guys? And if so, how well have the backups prepared for this? Because you don't have much time to get them ready. They have to be ready before this week in order to play well in this game. Here's Tannehill. Short throw taken in by Conquo. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Now it looks like we're going to get a stoppage here. An injured Steeler on that last play. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. On first and ten, it's Spears. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. The time is called. Looks like a member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Haskins, not going anywhere. He'll lose a couple back to the six. The time is called. Looks like a member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Second and goal from the six this time. They'll toss this out here to Haskins. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think the second down is the time you go play action, throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Boy, such a good drive. You'd hate to have it end in three. Do you think about going for it? Absolutely. I mean, the fact that they've moved the ball so well should lead you to the decision that maybe we should go for it right here. Also, as a head coach, show some confidence in your team. Let them know you think they can go get it. So a long drive gets them down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. George Pickens back out now with the rest of the offense. That's really been a blistering start to the season for him so far. He's on pace to blow past 1,000 yards. The good receivers, it's interesting, though. You put extra coverage on them. They probably view that as a challenge. All right, I'm going to go after this. You put one guy on them, then they feel disrespected. <laughs> and they want it to. So how do, you, how do you cover it? You're exactly right. That's an insult, right, especially the year that he's having. But I just have to go ahead and not. I'm not going to insult.
insult him, Defense. I'm going to respect it. I'm sending as many people as possible. But one of the reasons he's having this type of a start Automatic first down. is despite that type of coverage, he finds a way to what we call uncover late. Ball's thrown. Even though there's coverage there, he's the one who can go up and come down with it, finds a way to get to the football. And the offensive line has given them time in the pocket to have that uncover late. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. Young will set to throw. That's complete to Robinson. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Let's go. From the 41, here's second and four. Ready. Young. Steps away to his left. And this one hauled in, and again it's Robinson. And a crossover out of bounds right at the 25. Now we'll pause for an injury here. That's George Pickens, the receiver who's in some discomfort. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. They'll send Austin in motion right. A handoff for Warren. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. So, Charles, you know, offensively, this group really playing at a high level, 7-0. And we're still a long ways from discussing a potential unbeaten season, I think. But to use a golf expression, no blemishes on the card, at least to this point. Yeah, unlike my teenage years where there were blemishes everywhere, the dermatologist was on speed dial. But I do think that they're going to have to start answering questions about this start if they keep winning games. You and I both know, we in the media, will start to obsess about it and wonder, can they take it all the way to an undefeated season? Work in the middle of the field, he's got a man complete. And he will have a Steelers first down. They needed three, he doubled that, he got six. Here's Warren. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going, and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. I also like what the runner is giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. McFarland. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. And each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Extra point put through by Boswell. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals. As a there he goes, left side. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 110 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Right back to Spears. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. On second down, here's a run from Haskins. And a good burst there gets him seven up to midfield. This defense for the Steelers, they were very good in the win last week against Jacksonville. And as in any game, Takeaways are always a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there. And they came away with three interceptions in that game. And throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break? 
kick out on third down. Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed. Unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. And you see his numbers from a week ago. He was up over 100 yards then, and he's already hit pay dirt here once in this one. We always talk about quarterbacks and receivers getting into rhythm, right? Really feeling good, finding each other downfield. I think running backs operate the same way. They can hit a good rhythm and a good stride, and he's carrying it over from last week. So a roughing the passer penalty there, CD. And we know that these pass rushers love to get after rookie quarterbacks, but they've still got to do it within the scope of the rules. And that time, the hit came just a little bit too late. And an official won't even think twice about pulling this flag on that one. Running left, it's Warren. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. It's Young off play action. Flushed out right. Got his man. It's Warren. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Now we're in a first down pickup of eight. Let's go now. Straight ahead running, here's McFarland. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. You talk about this Titan defense. Well, they've been very good this year against the pass, currently holding on to a top 10 ranking at number 10. And it's really difficult to prepare for this team. This is the number one overall passing team in the end. And he cannot get away, and Young will go down. Credit the sack there to Arden Key. A tough spot here, third and 15. Now Young. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Come here, Red. Come here, Red. Red. Throwing Young. He's got his target. That's complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Let's so go. now following the roll of the dice, they've got a first and 10 inside the 35. Hey, hey, They'll send the tight end in motion left. On the run, it's Warren. And a short gain down to about the 33. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Ready? Third down, Young from the gun. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. As we both know, there was a lot that went into why they made him the first-round pick this year. Part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. All start offense. Now they nab the rookie there for the five-yard penalty. So much going through his head. You know it just has to be, right? All of his assignments and realizing every game he plays, one of the better players in the league will be opposite him. Buying time to his left. His throw incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought go. he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And this is caught inside the five. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. 25 yards that time. 
Offensive line wasn't set. There's the flag, and five yards back they go. Ball quarterback start. has Offense. to look around and make sure that his team is ready to go. Sometimes the quarterbacks go faster than is necessary. So from the two, now they move back to the seven-yard line. First and goal. Now here's Young. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Caleb Farley. And the Titans are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at the 20. They'll start on the ground with Spears. And they're going to stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Tannehill. They'll set up the screen for Spears. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Well, they were setting up the screen CD, a lot of free runners, and they got there late, and the penalty ensued. Yeah, somehow it didn't get into their brains that it was a screen, right? Instead of pulling off and chasing the ball downfield, they kept going towards the quarterback and knocked him down way late. That draws the penalty flag each and every time. After one, a 14-3 ball game. Second quarter now, Titans in possession of the football. Ball on the 39, here's the second and eight. As they've got it as we resume action. On second down, here's Tannehill. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. And in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. A short throw taken in by Conquero. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. On first down, Tannehill. And a steal of pressure too much here. He's going down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Go! Tannehill now to throw. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Defense. So the incomplete pass there, but the roughing the passer call bails them out. Which means you have to stay on the field on defense longer because you've given the offense free snaps, not to mention the free yardage after that mistake. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. The tackle by Cole Holcomb. Here now, second and nine from the 39-yard line. A give to Haskins up the middle. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. To throw is Tannehill. And he is caught. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 25-yard line. Play action. It's Tannehill. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Well, the incompletion, but now we also have an injured player. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. And he's going to go down here. A sack. They push him back to the 34. Brian Burns came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. incomplete but there is a flag down so hang on a big call coming on third down now you don't want to see that penalty at any point but it adds a little extra to it when it comes on third down 
It certainly does, because if this were a boxing match, they have him on the ropes there. Third down incompletion, fourth down upcoming. Instead, that mistake resets everything back to first down, which means they have to stay on the field longer to try and stop this drive. Yeah, no question. He got to the QB late CD, and that's going to get a flag every time. Every single time. Because let's face it, the league is always going to have an emphasis on these calls. They want to take care of these quarterbacks who are in vulnerable positions when they're passing the football. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. They'll try with Haskins. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. That second down play, that's a minus four. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Tannehill. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Brian Burns, his second sack of the night. Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. This will be a 37-yard attempt. And the 38-year-old vet able to split the uprights. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14-6 now. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Getting set to go again as we look hey, at the back ready? heading onto the field again. He's been effective so far over the 40-yard mark hey, here hey. in the second quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. The leverage game has been in their favor. They've been the ones who've been able to bend their knees, drop their hips, and get a little bit... Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Down. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. They'll run it. Warren trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Officially, no gain on the play, and it's second down. Young to throw it. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The Steelers on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This will be third and a mile. Young, he's going to change it up. Quick, yellow. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He'll let it fly for Austin. And it's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, the first two drives yielded touchdowns, so there's no reason for them to feel like they have to pull back on the reins. They pushed it downfield, looking for another one right there. Didn't get it, but we know they're going to continue to be bold. Boswell's kick is good. And that will extend their lead here to 17-6. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And Charles, you can't really fault him. He's over 100 yards already. He's not the reason they're losing. And that is really unusual because ordinarily, when you've set the tone this way and have run it this effectively, usually your team's in control. So it's a... And now this is intercepted. My goodness. And they're going to be set up in the red zone right around the 17-yard line. So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late-round pick right there, making a first-round impact. And a lot of these day three corners end up winding up on special teams and sub packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense, and he comes up with the interception there. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. 
Young working out of the gun. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. They made a nice effort to stick it with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. This will be caught just inside the 10. And the Steelers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Everything's going right here in this first half, and they've got a good lead. And part of that can be attributed to their success on third downs. This is another conversion here. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Jalen Warren with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Boswell good with the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. well now to kick it away after the touchdown and this will not be returnable it's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback out come the Titans now and for this offense Charles you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out they threw the interception on the very first play and you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum they're playing awfully well and they're awfully confident right now to me it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. A short throw taken in by Conquo. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. So the completion good for six yards. And that'll make it third and 13. Now Tannehill. Pressure comes, and the Steelers take him down. The safety blitz turns out to be a great call defensively as they sack him for a loss of nine. On fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on to punt. Now he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And take it right on the 30. It's a 39-yard punt, eight on the return, and the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's been good, his guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. That certainly appeared go. to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. Hey, I think they Brent. thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on Brent. it and forcing the incompletion. Bust through the tackle, and he'll be stopped right at midfield. 58 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs okay, to boot. Ready? Young now from the 50. Completes it to Austin. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Ready. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. It's Young on first down. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they're in a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup hey, and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Check right. Ready. Now a run with Warren. And a decent gain there as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Come on, set. From the shotgun, it's Young. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have the Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. To throw, Young. Flush to his right. And he's got it. And 
by Ryan and he's stopping, but he does take it all the way to the two. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. They toss it to Warren. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Down. Set. They'll try to run this one in, and he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. A great effort there. His 14th touchdown now of the year. And the Steelers are able to widen their lead here in this first half. And they would not be denied on the ground, powering it in just one play after they got stopped short. And how about how many tight ends were on the field? Because in today's NFL, we think of the tight end more as a pass catcher. But this group, they tell them you've got to be able to run block to stay on this team. And they committed to it and got it done right there. Extra point put through by Boswell. And the route is on here in this first half. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Titans going to go back on offense here late in this first half. Charles, you're down multiple scores, less than a minute left here. But with that deficit, they've got to try to at least work their way into field goal range to try to muster something out of this drive. And I'm going to go ahead and date myself one more time because I'm going to quote an old Smokey and the Bandit lyric. They've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. But they still have time to get it done. So I'm looking forward to watching them knock this drive and see if they can get some points out of it. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. On first and 10, Tannehill. That one caught along the sideline. Did he stay in? Yes, he did. But hang on here. A penalty Personal marker foul. is Rubbing on the field. Well, that flag puts them on their heels a little bit more defensively as the officials walk it upfield. Yeah, and they can blame the officials all they want, but bottom line, it's their own fault because, to me, that was an avoidable call. Stay focused and avoid major mistakes like that. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here's second and ten. Again, Tannehill. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. You tell they wanted to get that ball downfield. They had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Out of the gun, Tannehill. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Now the Steelers are going to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. Ready. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And with a huge lead already, they may be thinking, hey, our job's complete for these first two quarters. Let's get this to the locker room. Young on first down. Oh, wide open, complete. And he'll be forced out of bounds on the other side of the field. A big play there just before halftime. 43 yards. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. Boswell's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So more of the same here, CD. Not a touchdown, but three more points added on to their lead. Yeah, it's been a total domination here in this first half. Offensively, defensively, 
Even the special teams have chipped in as he connects on the field goal. It may be a little bit premature, but I think the only thing they're worried about dominating now, the post-game meal. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, guys, thanks very much. We'll get back with you shortly. But first, let's take a look at what's coming up this weekend around the NFL. Plenty of great games coming up in this first weekend of November, starting with the first ever game in Frankfurt, Germany, the Dolphins and Chiefs. Lots to look forward to in the late games as well. One of the best being in Philadelphia, where we find the Eagles taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Finally, on Monday Night Football, a good-looking matchup in the AFC. Chargers and Jets from MetLife Stadium. Coverage, 8.15 Eastern Time. these teams getting a chance to dry out maybe change their cleats if need be but halftime's just about over time to get back to it and for the call of the second half here's brandon god all right coach thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three forecast calling for more of the same the rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half so here are the steelers to take over on offense They've got the lead right now, and remember, they are riding that very impressive seven-game winning streak, trying to push it to eight. Let's go now. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Looking to throw, Young. Over the middle, it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The time is called. Looks like Let's a go. member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. So first and ten. And if they score on this Ready. drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. They juked him. Oh, he sheds himself free. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Now it appears we have a stealer here slow to get up. And hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a Ready. peek. And we'll take a break. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Out of the gun, it's Young. He dumps this off underneath to McFarland. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Ball at the eight here for second and a yard, maybe a touch less. A give up the middle to McFarland. And the Steelers are going to be set up with a first and goal as good running gets him down to about the four-yard line. And hold on here, because on that okay, last right. run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. It'll go as a loss of eight and a tough result there go. on first and goal. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. Ready, ready. On the handoff, it's McFarland. A good display of power, but it will only get him just inside the 5 to the 4. A nice run there. Eight yards moves him much closer to the goal line now for third down. Third and goal as they look to pour some Here more salt Here in the go. wound. Young now. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Bryce Young taking it in from four yards out. And the Steelers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. He continues to show at this level that he can not only pass for touchdowns, he can run for touchdowns. Not the first time we've seen this because this young guy, he really makes it happen. So what that tells me is the book on him has to change. 
you've got to now plan for those legs as well as him throwing the football. And boy, talk about adding insult to injury. He's into the end zone to tack on two more. well now to kick it away after the touchdown and they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback the Titans offense gears up for their first possession of the second half Now Spears to begin the drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That's a first down pickup for Tennessee on a gain of 10. to throw Tannehill this one to the former Robbie Anderson now Robbie chosen and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down they show run with three tight ends here on first down straight ahead here's Haskins and he's free going down the left side it's a foot race and he's going to be pushed out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. 65 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Here's Tannehill. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks. He seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Third and goal, trying to make that scoreboard at least a little more respectable. Now it's Tannehill. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Phillips. A gain of five, but not enough. Leads to a fourth and goal. Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. Folk's kick is good. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. I'm kind of surprised by that, that they kicked the field goal. I guess you get some points, but this deficit third quarter, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. When you're down that much, kicking a field goal, does it feel a little bit maybe waving the white waving flag the white, I was and just want to get that. out of here? Yeah, I, I think you got to go ahead and try and get some bigger points on the board. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, oh, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior, big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. That's complete. It's Anthony McFarland. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Throwing. Young. Flushed out right. And this almost intercepted. Not sure he saw the free safety that time. But lucky, incomplete. That'll bring up fourth down. The Steelers send out their punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. That'll be... Five on the return, and it'll be Titan football. 
Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll begin with a give to Haskins. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Well, every lineman knows the rule. Let's you go. only get a one-yard buffer beyond that line of scrimmage, and then the flag is thrown, and he got tagged go. for it there. To throw on second down is Tannehill, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. And not an easy spot here. He'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Third and long, it's Tannehill. That is caught. Finding room at midfield. Loose inside the 30. And he's going to get it down to the 14-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 64 yards. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Now it's Tannehill off the bootleg. And that'll be incomplete. And here you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. From the gun, Haskins. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Hassan Haskins. Teen yards. And the Titans get a bit closer. Full connects on the extra point, and that trims the lead a bit, but still standing at 26 points. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he'll elect not to run with it, and a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. The Steeler offense set to regain possession. Still well in control of this ball game, despite giving up that touchdown a moment ago. First down, they'll start with McFarland. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Open man downfield is Johnson. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. First target, first catch, and a first down. Ready? From the gun, this will be McFarland. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Young. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. Hustle, hustle. Now here's Young. Eluding the pressure right. And in for the Steelers. Touchdown. Pat Fryermuth, 27 yards. And the Steelers extend their lead yet again. Boswell good with the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Hassan Haskins set to head back out for another drive. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. 
And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone. And now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And of course, with that, look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Tannehill. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free and it's second down. Tannehill now to throw. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. I like the call. It looked like the right time to dial up a running back screen. But this one got disrupted right from the start and ends up falling incomplete. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Well, that frustration, Charles, it's been building on the defensive side of the ball. And unfortunately there, it turns into a roughing the passer penalty. Yeah, and they should be frustrated because he's picked them apart the entire game, but it's got to come out in a different way. You can't hit him illegally. Stop him downfield the way you're supposed to. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? Okay, so the personal foul penalty... And those are some important yards lost right there. Yeah, it all comes down to discipline, doesn't it? And every team tells us that they coach it, they preach it. In this case, and into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Hassan Haskins with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Titans are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Extra point up and good by Folk. And that trims the lead a bit, but still standing at 26 points. Gunnar Olszewski bringing it out. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Still comfortably on top, third quarter, as they start things here with a first and 10. Flush to his right. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. On first down, McFarland. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. That good for 22 and a first down. They just look like they're having fun out there. Big lead. There's yeah. another big play on the big run. I mean, they can't be stopped. I'm a little bit older than you, as you well know, partner, and you tend to tell me that all the time. But uh, there used to be a big-time song, and the lyric was, summertime and the living is easy. Right now it's football time, and the running is easy for this point. That one goes for 30 yards. Everything's been going right here in this one. This offense, they've been in complete control from the outset. And here's That's another ready. big play. These kind of routes have been open all game long, and they continue to take advantage. Now whistles here before the snap, but it looks like one of the Steelers may have moved. Maybe anticipating a blitz, go, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. Young's throw complete to Fryermuth. And the Steelers are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. It's Young off play action. And that ball is caught by Washington. Touchdown, Steelers. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Steelers get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. This is where, as a tight end, you've got to really sell that this is a run. They're going to fake the give, hope the linebackers bite, and here they do just enough. That split second, that's all it takes for that tight end to leak out into the end zone. Touchdown. 
Extra point put through by Boswell. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Tannehill. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. And you can tell just by looking at him that this offense is a frustrated unit. Things are really unraveling here, and as a head coach, Time to earn your paycheck. You've got to find a way to keep it together as that brings up another fourth down. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and ten as they take go. over. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to no, go around. No. First and ten. They begin the drive with McFarland. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. Go. That's going to bring up second and 11. Second down, Young. Dancing to his left. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Hey, Red! Hut, hut. On the give, this is McFarland. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Kevin Byard up to make the tackle. Now a second and ten. Young off the play fake. He'll buy some time right. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Ready, ready. Ready. They'll run here with McFarland. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 57 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Young to throw it. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. It'll be a sack and a loss of three, but more importantly, it brings up fourth down. And that is no good. But that's just a minor blip here in what's been a thoroughly dominating performance. Well, they can probably live with that with this late lead in the fourth quarter. That's one of the few things that's gone wrong. You're exactly right. This one was well in hand. That kick there was more for cosmetics, you know, to add to their score. 
not getting it, that shouldn't harm him at all. Meanwhile, 